Hey guys, Moss50 here, coming in another view for you guys. Um, I also just done a review from 31 Days of Horror for Halloween uh, reviews, so check that out if you guys have an already, and um, if you want to. And um, I also have a couple of unboxings I just done as well, so if they take your interest, check them out if you want. Anyways, so now I'm coming in a review for 4, which I'm doing basically because I'm hoping to see 4 2 tomorrow. And I would have done this review a lot sooner, but I didn't know I'd be able to um, see the film till like just recently. So uh, yeah, it's a bit sloppy, but whatever. Anywho, so for let me just say this is possibly the last great superhero film I saw before I lost interest in them. You know, this is probably the last superhero film I saw that I really enjoyed. You know, um, so first we'll start the storyline. Now storyline is. I will say it's fairly generic, but the way in which it um, plays out, it it's still got the interest factor, you know, because that's how I feel with a lot of these um, family-friendly superhero films, you know, I mean, it, they always play out the same with the storylines. This one, I I felt threw in, like, enough curve um, balls for it to be, you know, uh, enjoy more enjoyable than your average superhero film, but it, it's still... A pretty generic storyline, um, and it's also one of the curveballs I threw in was uh, the love interest thing, and that was terrible. That was really bad. <laughs> I wish they really, I really wish they didn't include that. And storyline wise, a pretty good film, a seven out of ten. Character wise, I have to praise the film this way in this because they actually made for a likable character and a actual. Uh, standout superhero, you know, I mean, for beforehand was just, I didn't give a shit about him, um, let's be honest, I mean, who really gave a fuck about Thor before this film, and Loki as well, Loki is one of the fucking shittiest supervillains ever, this film made him interesting, so character wise, I've got to give this film props, um, characters, 8.5, because some of the other characters are a bit, you know, a bit unnecessary, not too fleshed out. So, yeah, and especially that whole love interest thing with um, Natalie Portman was just terrible. Um, the acting was surprisingly really good. I didn't know. I mean, the reason I didn't expect the acting to be too great on this film was because um, I hadn't seen the actors really, you know, act before. I mean, Thor was in Coming in the Woods, which technically was made beforehand, but never got released beforehand, so... Yeah, um, I, that's the only thing I think I've ever seen Thor win, so, yeah, didn't know what to expect um, in terms of his acting. The other actors, I'm not a massive fan of Natalie Portman in this, I don't think she was that great of an actress either, I don't know why everyone loves her so much, but whatever. Um, yeah, so acting, I didn't expect much, but it turned out everyone done a great job. I still didn't think Natalie Portman turned in too much of a great job. She just seems to sigh at the camera a lot. That's basically what she seems to do. Um, sorry if you're a fan of her, but... Nah, she annoys the shit out of me. Anywho, um, so acting, I'll probably give... I'll give it a 9, because for the most part, it's pretty damn strong from everyone. Especially Loki, he's great in the film. Um... The action in the film was, it, it was very sparse if I remember, I haven't watched this film in a long while because I haven't got it on DVD or Blu-ray, so please excuse me for that, um, I would have watched it um, beforehand, before reviewing this film if I could, but sorry. So yeah, the action was very sparse if I remember, and it was, it was decent, it wasn't great, it wasn't amazing by any means, but it was serviceable, so I mean, acting wise I'd probably give it a 7. Overall, guys, I actually really enjoyed this film. I, I, I gave. Yeah, sorry, what I'm saying. I said it was a, the last great superhero film I saw. Thinking about it, it wasn't actually that great. It was really, really good, but it wasn't great. You know, it's like a lot of superhero films are. They're always good. Um, I haven't seen many that are fucking shit or terrible or, or unwatchable or anything like that. But I haven't seen many that are you know, amazing and really substantially interesting, you know. I get much more enjoyment out of films like Kick-Ass or Super, you know, gritty, realistic superhero films. I mean, 
or even The Dark Knight. I know that's more family friendly, but it's still more gritty and realistic than these sort of fil Marvel films, you know, but whatever. So, I mean, overall, I'll probably give the film a... I want to give it an 8, so I'll be generous. I'll give it an 8. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I didn't think it was an amazing film by any means, but I did really enjoy it. So, so this was, if this review is a bit all the place, but... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so that was a quick review for 4. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it's Master 50, signing out.